हेलो ऑल टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू क्लियर अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट कंसेप्ट इन मॉलिकुलर बायोलॉजी एंड दिस कंसेप्ट इज ऑफ कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड एंड नॉन कोडिंग स्ट्रैंड नाउ सपोज वी हैव अ डीएनए डुप्लेक्स एंड इन दिस डीएनए डुप्लेक्स we are well familiar out of the two strands of dna only one strand will have genes so suppose this is that strand okay which is having genes so i have shown here one gene and it might have many genes on it if this dna belongs to prokaryotes definitely it immediately what after one gene you will have many genes like in the form of operon or if it belongs to eukaryotes they this is one gene on the same strand somewhere here you will have another gene and in between these two this region of the dna is junk region or junk dna which is non coding dna but this part which i am darkening here and i am calling it as a gene this part on the same strand or again this part i am darkening this because this is another gene so that means all genes are present on the same strand okay now what will happen at the time of transcription we are well familiar that from this gene will be copied an mrna because the mrna will be exactly complementary to the gene so consider we will show it something like this i am just opening that gene okay and because this gene has opened now definitely we are well familiar what will happen because of the activity of rna polymerase mrna will be formed on it but this mrna will have a sequence complementary to this strand of dna on which genes are present so definitely this is that strand which is copied correct so this strand will have a sequence complementary to the mrna correct and on mrna we are will have the codons are present correct and we also call these codons as sense codons except the three UA, UAG, and UGA are the nonsense codons. But other than that, suppose this mRNA will come out here, and this sequence which is present on the mRNA is in the form of codons. Thus, I can say that the sequence on your mRNA is exactly same as the sequence on this opposite side strand. Correct. because this strand is also complementary to the dna correct this gene and your mrna is also complementary to this gene correct and that's why this strand which is having six sequence exactly same as the mrna this strand is called the coding strand reason the language of codons which is present on mrna is same as the language which is present on this opposite strand and that's why this is the coding strand okay and coding strand the strand in genomic duplex dna that contains the same sequence of bases as mrna transcribed from dna except you there is t because we are well familiar that this rna will have ribonucleotides and here what do you have is u but in the dna strand you have t in the dna strand you have deoxyribose sugar but in the rna strand we have ribose sugar but the point which we must remember is that strand of the dna which has sequence same as mrna is coding correct so what this strand is this strand is 
is a non coding strand why it is a non coding strand okay reason the strand in genomic duplex dna that contains sequence complemented to the bases in mrna transcribed from dna except you there is t so though this strand is acting as a template but it is having a sequence complemented to mrna so mrna has codons and that's why this strand will be complemented to it and that's why it is called non coding strand but we should not forget that the non coding strand is acting as a template and that's why non coding strand is also called template strand okay the non coding strand is also called template strand so what we should call this coding strand we will call this coding strand as anti template strand because it is anti to the template correct similarly this coding strand which is having sequence exactly same as the mrna this coding strand is also referred as plus strand so the coding strand is also called plus strand so definitely what we should call the non coding strand is the minus strand okay don't use the terminology positive strand and negative strand use the terminology plus strand and minus strand correct other than that this coding strand is also called sense strand so the coding strand is also called sense because the sense of mrna which is going to form protein is exactly same as the sense of this coding strand and that's why it is called sense so what the non coding strand is called anti sense correct so this is the main difference between coding and non coding strands again the strand of the dna duplex which is having sequence exactly same as mrna which has codons and that's why it is called coding while this template on which your mrna is formed the complementary to the mrna strand is actually non coding and also called template because it is acting as a template so we will give that credit to it but this coding will be called anti template but as the sense of it is same as the mrna it is also called plus or sense while the non coding strand is called minus or anti sense so this is the main difference between coding strand of dna and non coding strand of dna hope so the concept is clear thank you